Merry Christmas, everyone. It's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, as you can see, it's Christmas time. We're dressed for Christmas. Uh, I don't have a Christmas hat, so this was like the closest thing that I could get, this uh, lovely stocking. And it's, it's quite fetching, don't you think? Um, but anyway, we've got 76 Void Shards. Last time we pulled 112 for Sifi. We did not get her. We got Nada. Um, so 112 plus 76, not quite Mercy, but we're very close to Mercy. So I feel like we should be getting something today. Um, there's a chance to get uh, Carolon, no, sorry, Carolin, Carolon, the ringer. I mean, I think he looks awful. Um, he's got an interesting kit. I think he, you know, if you pulled him, he would be able to carry you and be great for progression. For Arena, because of Stone Skin, he's not going to be that great at the moment. But with um, Merciless and Supersonic coming out, that may change. But uh, for now, I wouldn't say so hot for Arena. And there's also a chance to get uh, Gorgrid tomorrow. And um, I would love to have him. Like, he looks like a badass. Um, has an amazing kit. Um, you know can just like ignore defense, go through stone skin, unkillable, um, an insane AOE ability with, um, if you kill people, you get unkillable buff as well, and an A1 that can just keep procking. And what's great about, uh, this is something that I, you know, I think he's great for so much content, but especially for Arena, which is where I want to use him. But one thing I don't know, and if anyone does know the answer to this, please let me know in the comments below. Um, so I was thinking, like, say I had, like, um, two ally attack champions for Fire Knight, and, you know, you do an ally attack, he joins him with his A1. Can he keep procking with his A1? Because if you can, that would be a really good way to uh, get down the Fire Knight shield. So, um, yeah, let, just before we start pulling shards as well, we are wearing the super lucky... Um, cardigan of justice available in all good retailers highly recommend you wear one of these when pulling shards and also oh, and the reason that i can't pull shards tomorrow is because my wife will beat me if i do a video uh, on the 23rd because we've got family stuff going on anyway good luck guys i hope you all pull some insane legendaries for christmas or at least some decent epics um, so Demitha, a great champion, block damage, um, is part of one of the best uh, clan boss team comps, the Infinity Gauntlet comp. No, not Infinity Gauntlet. So the the Harris comp, which is an insane comp if you can do it. Uh, Belloa, a great campaign farmer. If you put him early, definitely gold. Supreme Elhane. Oh. Matt, that is the one thing I don't need in my account. Uh, I am blessed when it comes to nukers. Uh, let's just switch to... The, no, let's talk about Elhane first. So she is a really, really good nuker. Um, so she's immune to decrease attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, increases 20% more damage against champions whose attack is lower than this champion's attack. Got a stack attack on her, boys. Um, attacks one enemy, will ignore ally protection, strength, and shield. She's a great counter to um, Necred. Uh, attacks all enemies, decreases damage by 10% for each... Oh, sorry, damage increases by 10% for each debuff on the enemy target. Um, resets the cooldown if we kill. So, okay, nice. And then A1, attacks two times. Each hit transfers a random debuff from this champion to the target. She hits hard. She's got a nice kit. But uh, if we just have a look at my account, I am blessed when it comes to new because I this is like the one thing I don't need. Um, let's just change it to rarity, not rarity, affinity. So like Liores, insane new car, Constantine, another new car, and I've got two of him. I've got two arbiters, um, Hedgy, who I love, Chagor, who I don't really use to be honest, uh, Tohanarak, who's She's good for Hydra, but I don't rate her that much. People love her. Um, I just think she's okay. Um, 
yeah and then the rest is just like you know champions that i've pulled really uh ethos is someone that actually i do want to start investing in um he's good for like classic arena and stuff and great for like pve content hits like a truck which just blast through waves but he's also really good for curse city so i do want to i do want to invest in him but really i need i really need support champions like sifi usaga um who else would be great warlord yumiko those champions would carry my account so much harder uh, so let's go for a solo pull and then do another 10 I don't know why. I just feel like if you if you mix it up, it just increases your luck. But man, Supreme El Hain, just why, why? Oh, just yeah. And I actually I didn't even get her. Um, I was five five fragments out as well. But yeah, Plarium, they're torturing me. I don't know what I've done. I've done something wrong though. Uh, Cold Heart, obviously one of the best rares that you can get in the game if you get her invest in her she will speed things up i mean people still use her in all end game content even in hard dungeons which is just crazy considering she is a, a rare who else who else is good umbral enchantress i love this champion um great for hydra great for wave control she has like an aoe provoke definitely and i think it's two turns as well definitely worth investing in solid solid champion used to be really good back in the day for arena but obviously stone skin sort of taking that out um whisper i've got whisper i need to invest in her she is one of the hardest hitting single target champions in the game great for hydra great for like slamming down bosses oh frenzy the cracker that is new to the account um okay so they're provoked champion with increased defense also oh, hate to be burned as well nice Attacks three times at random, has a good shot. Well, it will place HP burn. Ah, so, and basically we'll fill his own turn meet as well. That's cool. Ah, and then the A1 will activate HP burns as well. Passive. Okay, so they're like a tanky defense champion. So obviously you want to put accuracy on them. You want to put as much defense as you can. But yeah, solid, solid champion. Definitely uh, one worth investing in. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be rares again. Oh no. We're down to five. All right, guys. I'll be back in a sec. So guys, for Christmas, I've managed to get two vouchers from work. Uh, it's a one for all card. And I'm hoping that I can change it into Plarium play, no, Plarium pay points, Google play points, and I'll buy some void shards because Otherwise, it's for John Lewis. What am I going to buy at John Lewis? Bed sheets, a towel. I'm not interested. So let's, do you know what? Let's uh, let's break free to play and let's treat ourselves to some Voyage Shards. And hopefully, you know, I've always heard that, you know, if you spend money in the game, you get better pull rates. Let's put the theory to the test. And we're back, guys. So we've got 40 Voyage Shards. Let's go big. And fingers crossed we get something good and let's see does spending improve the rates uh renegade a great champion uh she does like a reset so resets the team's cooldowns you can go again relatively tender as well is an also another great champion and of course we're out of space all right give me a minute all right and we're back down to the last 30 come on Yumagrin, great champion, can solo farm, um, just put loads of regen on him, throws out loads of poisons, heals, cleanses. Uh, Gembo, great arena champion. Do you feel like he's fallen off? Like, he doesn't seem to smack as hard as he used to, but he is still pretty good for arena, and he counters Leores as well. Oh, no, guys. I think we're out. No? All right. Ten more. Oh, I don't think we're going to do it. It looks like <laughs> hardcore fail. So Sky Touch Shaman, a great champion. Um, sticker in immunity set. She counters Torment, and there's going to be loads of Torments around now because of that fusion. 
Uh, Seer, one of the best champions for clearing waves. Um, kind of weird how you have to get used to using her. So you want to bring someone that drops defense, someone that can recess cooldowns like Renegade, and then someone that brings out loads of buffs. She eats the buffs and she'll just blow the enemy away. But man, that sucks so hard. Like, I can't believe it. A Supreme Elhane. Uh, I can't. I think we only got three legendaries this year. It just sucks. Uh, they really, really need to increase the rates on Voids. Um, I, I don't know. For me, it's just too low. It, 1%. And if you're free to play, I think you get about 400 Void Shards a year. It's just not enough. Come on, Plarium. Sort it out. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you soon. Have a good Christmas. Peace.